Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term myeloma survivor, myeloma cancer coach and director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome to the vlog post about blood glucose, sugar. The question is frequently asked about the relationship between what we eat and multiple myeloma in general, or in the case of um, specific the pre-myeloma diagnoses of a single bone plasma cytoma, single, not multiple. Uh, MGUS, monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, or SMM, smoldering multiple myeloma. Bottom line is the, the, the research isn't definitive on the relationship between blood glucose and uh, does, it, does it somehow spark or cause multiple myeloma or uh, smoldering multiple myeloma or pre uh, or uh, MGUS. But it is um, generally regarded that what you eat can um, increase the risk of blood cancers, of problems, of health problems. Um, specifically, uh, there's no uh, diabetes, as an example. There's no direct link between diabe diabetes and pre-myeloma. Um, but um, a higher blood glucose causes inflammation, and inflammation has been fairly well established as uh, a risk factor, both for pre-myeloma, MGUS, SMM, and full-blown myeloma. So the bottom line answer is, uh, does glucose cause multiple myeloma? Um, that depends. It's not a one-to-one -one direct relationship, but it increases your risk. Nutrition, anti-angiogenic nutrition, fruits, vegetables, um, perhaps lean animal protein, not animal fat makes a difference in you, whether you've been diagnosed with pre-myeloma, MGUS, smoldering multiple myeloma, or full-blown multiple myeloma. What you eat makes a difference. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, um, they, uh, I, I produce a, a, a nutrition guide. I'm happy to send it to you. Uh, if you have any questions about blood glucose, about any form of nutrition and how it relates to uh, your diagnosis of pre-myeloma or full-blown myeloma, scroll down the page, send me a question or a comment, and I will reply to you ASAP. In the meantime, be well. Thank you for your time.